Happy Sunday morning, everybody. It's been a while since we posted a detailing video, so we're gonna do that right now. So when I say it's been a while since we posted a detailing video, I mean it's been probably a year, I don't know, something like that. So I know that some of the people that have subscribed to this channel, um, probably because of the detailing stuff that I used to post. So one of the things that everyone has to make money, right? We all have to work. Um, I, I do a whole bunch of different things. Um, one of the key things is detailing. So I just don't always post stuff. I'm gonna post more of it because some people wanna learn um, and there is an art to it. There's a big difference between just washing your car and your driveway and detailing. Um, I would venture to say that most people that are washing their car and their driveways are absolutely destroying their vehicle um, because you can scratch your car very easily. There's proper ways to do all of that. And one day I'll go through and I'll make a video on how to properly wash your car um, without messing it up, but not in this video. This video is basically just gonna be a day in the life of a detailer. So that being said, today's schedule started at seven o'clock in the morning, I'm getting ready for the day. Um, and I'm going to be uh, doing four vehicles today. So I have a mini detail, I have a quick wash, I have a full service detail followed by another quick wash. So even a quick wash for me is still considered a detail because they, you know, the quick, I, I still take care of people's vehicles. So, um, and I'll go through and I'll even tell you guys the prices that I'm charging and I'll show you, you know, what I'm doing. I'm not scared to show my prices for the little bit of stuff that I'm doing. So today is a fairly stacked day. It's not gonna be a solid eight hours of fully cleaning cars, but throughout the day, it's gonna be a full day still because I, you know, I have to drive here, there, and everywhere and do this and that. So let's get this adventure started. basically mini detail so I basically do like express washes um, which is the next one that we're going to do right now uh, mini details full details and I do specialty services like um, clay barring and um, paint correction machine compounding I even do um, having a mind heart here right now um, ceramic coating there you go so those are all obviously uh, more expensive services. So this detail here is on a Nissan Versa four-door car, small car, um, but it was $80 mini detail. So basically, you got a hand wash, hand towel dry, the wheels and tire shine. They also got one of a, um, the reason why it was $80 too was they wanted a hand applied wax, spray wax too. So they got that, um, so I had a protection for it. Um, and then the inside done and all the surfaces sprayed, you know, sprayed, wiped down and cleaned. Um, and then air freshener and the windows and door jams and all that good stuff. So, 
that wash there took me exactly an hour and a half. That includes setup and doing the vehicle and then packing everything up. Actually, I think it was like an hour and 25 minutes. Um, it probably could have went a little bit quicker, but you know, I pay attention to detail. So I'm trying to make sure that, you know, everything is clean the way it needs to be. So that wash there was $80 uh, because they had the extra wax and everything else. It was an $80 wash. They also tipped me $20. So in an hour and 25 minutes, let's just say an hour and a half, I made $100 doing that wash. So, you know, it's not bad. It's hard work, don't get me wrong. Like if you think you're gonna get into detailing and you know, if you, for one, if you don't have a passion to clean cars or if you don't like doing it and you're just doing it to try to make money and you don't know what you're doing, it's gonna cost you a lot in the end and it's not gonna be worth it for you. But if you know what you're doing and you like it and you know, you're willing to bust your ass to do it, you can make money doing this. That being said too though, you know, you have to get out there and get the work. Every week is a little bit different. So you might make a lot of money one week, you may not make as much the next week. It could be raining the next weekend and then you make nothing. So now we're going down the road. We're going to the next wash. This wash here, um, I'm gonna talk to the customer whenever we get here, but as of right now, it's just a $40 quick wash. For me, a $40 quick wash is literally just um, a wash you know, with the wax already mixed in, the wheels and tires shine, the windows done, and a quick vacuum, and then a quick wipe down of the surfaces just to kind of get the dust off, and that's it. Um, oh, and air freshener. So make sure you package, or you price your packages right too. So this is a $40 quick wash, should take me an hour or less. So let's see what happens. took me about, I'm gonna round up and say an hour. I don't know, I probably took a little bit less than that, but let's just say an hour. Um, it's a $40 wash, which my $40 washes mainly focus on the outside. I would say 80% uh, outside and then 10 or 20% inside. Um, the inside basically is just the windows dusting really quick, vacuum and the door jams. Um, so that was a $40 wash for the car. Tipped me ten dollars, so I made fifty bucks off of that for only an hour. Um, so so far today, I've worked a total of two and a half hours, and I've made one hundred and fifty dollars. And I still have two more to go. And the next one is a full detail on a Honda Civic. Um, so yeah. Now another thing with this wash, so I may have only made fifty dollars on it. I say may fifty dollars an hour technically isn't bad. Um, but I also gained more work off of it. So I'm coming back now on Wednesday to uh, do a $50 wash on their truck, which is the exact same wash I did, but I charge an extra $10. So the $40 wash that I do is $40 for cars, and then it's $50 for vans, SUVs, or trucks. Uh, mainly, it, it kind of takes about the same time, maybe like 10 minutes longer. Um, vans, probably about another 15 minutes longer. Vans are a pain in the butt. but. Um, it's just, you know, just that extra little bit of, uh, you know, supply usage as well. So, and then they also have two other vehicles that they want me to do. So, you know, you gain more work where you're at. Um, and then you leave price cards or cards and all that too. And, you know, word of mouth, like word of mouth is your best friend. I would say I probably get more than half of my work alone from word of mouth, you know. It took a long time to get to that point, but, you know, that, that's, that's, how, that's what you can make happen um in this line of work with it so now we are now i'm heading back to get some more water um i have some left but i don't feel like having to get more so i'm just going to go ahead and refill up with water now for the next two details that i have to do and i'm going to get something to eat really quick and then i'm going to be on to the next one so i'll see you guys here in a minute for the next full detail that we're going to do all right we're here to do a full detail on this bad boy Do it.
done with the full detail. So in case you couldn't tell, I got some sun on that one. Someone's beaming on me. Um, it's hot. Good times in Florida. So that took me about about two two hours and like 15 minutes, 20 minutes maybe um, to do all of that. So basically, he's got a wash with wax. He got. Uh, wheels and tire shine he got an extra layer of hand wax and a sealant on top of that for the outside and the inside everything was completely wiped down and cleaned with cleaner and then the seats were cleaned and conditioned they had vinyl seats and good vacuum and steam deodorization so to help deodorize and sanitize everything with kids and all that um, he also had his son spilled milk in the front seat on vinyl and it has little holes in it um, to you know for the seat warmer or cooler and let's it smelled rotten and nasty so I had to hit that with a whole bunch of steam to try to deodorize that the best I could um, that's all I wanted done so fun times so about two let's just say two and a half hours for that one hundred and sixty dollars so um, you know I mean it's a lot of hard work. I mean, it's a lot of money, but it's a lot of hard work, you know, and there's a little bit more product cost than that one or supply cost than that. So, you know, you got to take all that into consideration when you're pricing your details. These same people, um, I've detailed their other vehicle. They have a Honda Pilot and I detailed it like probably six different times. So just repeat customer base. So right now I'm on my way to get more water. I've already drank a gallon of water today and then we're on to the next uh, quick wash and then we're done for the day. So let's do it. All right, final wash of the day. All right, finally back home, successful day. Um, I tried doing a time lapse of the last car that we just did, but there was a memory card error, so I didn't save the video. So anyways, the last car was technically an SUV, or it is an SUV, um, but I only charged that customer $40. Uh, normally for a $40 watch like that, if I do it as an SUV or van or truck, I would charge an extra 10 so it would be $50. Um, they're a repeat customer, they're a loyal customer, so it's the least I can do. Um, that's one thing you should do too. You should, you know, you should help your customers out a little bit to keep that, especially if they're repeats, but don't go too crazy because if you start giving away a lot of stuff for free, that becomes a new expectation for them. So you can kind of bite yourself in the butt a little bit with that. So all I do is I just, I always give them the same wash. I just give them, give it to them for the price that I would do for a car instead of for an SUV every single time. And they keep me busy. I'd rather make $10 less per wash that I do with them than risk losing all the money that I could potentially make with them over the year. So give some lose some um, besides that so what the way it factored in today is it seen you know now it's nighttime so I left in the morning and now it's night so it might have seemed like I was out all day long working but I kind of wasn't I went at my own pace my own schedule um, got to come home eat lunch do everything else and um, after doing all of that today I technically only washed cars for a total of six hours today um, even though it, it, was, it seems like I was out about later than that. Um, so for those six hours, I made $350. Uh, that equates down to, I mean, really I say six hours, probably realistically only like more like five and a half hours that I worked. I'm kind of giving myself extra time here for the point of this. Um, I made between, if you average that out, $58 an hour. Realistically, I made probably more around like $60 an hour today working so the whole point of this is is that you can make money doing this you can you can hustle and make money I mean think about it I could just work three days a week doing what I'm doing right now and make over fifty five thousand dollars a year or fifty four thousand six hundred if you want to get real technical on the amount but I could average fifty five grand a year alone just doing what I'm doing now it's not always gravy like that you know you're gonna have bad weeks here in Florida you have afternoon thunderstorms in the summertime so you have all the other factors that you have to deal with you're gonna have great weeks sometimes you're gonna have really crappy weeks sometimes so you know you just you gotta you have to go out there and get it I have to 
every other detailer has to even if you got a steady flow of customers if you want more you got to go out there and get it so this is a good way that you can make a living you can make a good living doing this you don't have to necessarily have a college degree to make any money in fact in today's society now in 2019 I think you're better off going in the trade route than you are going to school you can make money in a trade route period so that's what I do, and I can tell you right now, I do a hell of a lot better than a lot of people I know with college degrees. So, and I have my college degree. You know, Uncle Sam paid for mine, but I went and I got mine. I earned mine. Um, so anyways, that's mobile detailing. If you guys want to see more videos um, about what I do for detailing certain detailing videos, um, another setup video or anything, I know I have one that a lot of guys liked. Um, so if you guys want to see anything else associated with detailing, let me know in the comment section. Otherwise, if you like it, subscribe, like, do whatever you want. I don't care. Um, I'm just glad that hopefully you watch this whole video through and through and that you can see how you can make yourself successful. Everyone needs to be successful, correct? So get out there and strive for it. Until next time, see you guys.